guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's tutorial is going to be something super exciting. We are officially launching a three barrel waiver here at JC Styles Co. This has been a long time in the making. These are so popular right now and we are so excited to be joining the bandwagon and getting on it. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on how I like to use this to get like the perfect beachy waves. This is called the Jagger, which is so exciting because that's my son's name. And what we did was we looked up the meaning of the Jagger and it said a jagging iron and that's like exactly what this is. So we thought that was so cool. So this is the Jay-Z Jagger, three barrel wave. It's super big barrel so it gives you that nice beachy wave. And then we also have the J-Wave. This is the curling iron that we launched a few months back and I'm going to be doing a tutorial mixing these two tools together to give you like that perfect beachy wave. So let's get started. Okay, so how you turn this iron on, it's similar to our other ones. It has the power button. You're just gonna hold down on it. It says off, and then once it's on, it will start counting up. So it's at like 129, 131, it keeps going up. And if you want it to be higher, you just press that button a few times and it will get higher and higher. And then to turn it off, you just hold down that power button again. So what I'm going to be doing is parting my hair off. So I washed my hair last night and let it air dry, and now I just like ran a flat iron through it so it's just straight. And the nice thing about this iron and like this type of like wavy hairstyle is it can last you so long because it can be like obviously like perfect the first day, but as it you falls day to day and you sleep on it, it gets a little looser. But that's like the beauty of beach waves is they can be loose and messy and look good. So it's really exciting because you can just wear this like all week. I wash my hair once a week and I'll do this on day one and then I'll just kind of like let it fall and it's perfect. So I love that iron, this iron for that reason. Okay. So I am going to start by grabbing a small section of hair about this size. And when you're using this iron, you don't wanna to go to the very, very top of the root of the hair because then it's gonna have like a weird kink, especially towards the top. Um, so you wanna start a little bit lower like this and then you're just gonna clamp it on, let it wait a few seconds and then go a little bit lower and do the same thing. And depending on your hair length, um, that's gonna depend on like how many times you have to do this. The longer the hair, the more times you'll have to. Um, I personally like my hair to be like a bit looser, so I don't like it to be like super, super wavy and tight. Um, but if you're wanting to get a lot of use out of this hairstyle, you could do it tighter the first day so that it just gets like looser and looser each day. So that's how the iron looks. It's starting to feel like a nice little wave in my hair. Um, I did that on two sections. Now I'm gonna take another section, and this one's pretty small, and I'm going to use the curling iron and do my curls and then as I'm releasing them, did you see how I like twisted that iron the whole time? That's what's gonna give you a nice beachy wave. You don't want it to be like a super like curly curl. This needs to be like a wave curl so that it blends really well with the barrel. Sorry, our alarm keeps going on off in the background. That's what that noise is. And then you can leave the ends out on some of them and on other ones go all the way down just so there's variation. It's so crazy guys, we launched our um, J-Wave at the beginning of this year, and now we have two flat irons, we have the barrel coming, we have another thing we're working on um, as far as like hot tools go, and it's like so cool to like see the line kind of complete itself. Um, let me know what other tools you guys wanna see us do. All right, it's super important when using the curling iron to do a really thin section like I said, and I'm going like this, clamping it in, and then slowly bringing it down, leaving the ends out, and then you're twisting. See how I'm twisting the iron the whole way down? And that's what gives it like that twisted look. And when I separate everything at the end, it's gonna be really beachy. And then I prefer to do all of the hair like around my hairline and around my face with the iron um, because I feel like that's just kind of like what looks most flattering. So these last two sections I'm gonna do with the curling iron. Okay, so that is the first section all done. I'm not gonna touch it yet. I'm just gonna kind of leave it to cool. I'm gonna do the rest of it. And then when I get to the top layer, I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay guys, so I just finished all of the extensions. I have my top layer up. So what I'm going to do is take a texture spray. This is the Fat Boy Tossel and Go. So I'm just gonna kind of like run it over everything and run my fingers through it, get a little more texture. And then I'm gonna take my top layer Starting at my bangs, and I'm actually going to just take the flat iron and like go like that to like smooth them into it. And then back here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of that curl to give it a little bend so that it kind of blends in with everything. 
And the best part about this look is it's just supposed to be like textured and beachy, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm also using the Fat Boy, is this, yeah, pomade, sea salt pomade. And I just like to run it through my fingers and then just kind of run it through my hair to make sure everything's like staying. And I feel like if you put this through your ends, it helps your style stay throughout the day as well. Then I will take the hairspray, mist it over, and then I, um, that was Orbe, and then I also have the Orbe Wave and Shine Spray, and that's just gonna give it like a little shine so it looks really good. All right, you guys, this is the final result. You can see that it's just like a loose, beachy wave. You can obviously do it tighter if you want to, but this is like my style. So I love that this iron kind of lets you do whatever. You can do it tighter, looser, right in the middle, and mixing it with the J-Wave iron really just gives it that like beachy vibe. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Make sure to check out the Jagger on our website because it is live now.